There's only one thing, sir. What are we going to do about English? If I were you, I wouldn't worry too much about English. He is no threat to us. I had his flat bugged. Clearly, the aptly named English is a fool. He might be a fool, but he's a fool who keeps showing up. Well, the next time he shows up, eliminate him. Thank you. Dieter Klein and Klaus Vendetta, sir. Released from prison six months ago, 327 convictions between them. Armed robbery, grievous bodily harm, combined parking fines of more than 400 pounds. Uh, yes, yes, all right, thank you, Bob. I think we get the picture. The point is, sir, that Vendetta and Klein are both in the employ of Monsieur Sauvage. Pascal Sauvage? Precisely, sir. But you're not suggesting Sauvage is involved? I think he's more than just involved, sir. I'm convinced he's up to his French neck in it. Don't be absurd. Sauvage employs thousands of people just because two of them are villains doesn't mean that he is. But no, I want him discounted from this investigation immediately. Yes, sir. All right. Tonight I shall be at Sauvage's reception for the new French ambassador. Any developments, you can reach me there. Apart from that, I don't want you within a hundred miles of the man. Absolutely, sir. Requisition order. MI7 quartermasters for immediate supply. One military transport plane, fully fueled with permission for nighttime city overflight. Two night camouflage parachutes, plus reserves, plus near green bodysuits, twice in black. I've never liked the navy blue. And a 40-inch chest for me, because I need the sleeve length. Morning, Falch. Morning. Oh, and two special forces signet rings. Primed and color-coded. What's all this for, sir? For tonight's operation, Buff. We're going to break into Savage's headquarters. But about Pegasus? You let me worry about Pegasus. I know that Savage is behind all this, and tonight we're going to get the evidence to prove it. Something wrong, sir? Did that sound like Phelps to you? So what you're saying, sir, is there must have been two of them. Oh, at least, Boff. Possibly four. I wonder why I didn't see them. 
You mustn't dwell on your mistakes, Muff. You must learn from them and move on. Yes, sir. So where are you, sir? Just drop it, Buff. Ah! What is it, sir? That bike. You get things sorted out for tonight. Pleasant surprise. I wondered when you might show up again. On the contrary, Miss Campbell. It's not I who keep showing up. It's you. Do you like sushi? Hmm? Oh, sushi? Oh, I practically live off the stuff. You might say the mysteries of the Orient are no mystery to me. Now then, perhaps you can explain how it is that I run into you at two crime scenes and then can't find any record of you on a single government computer. Shouldn't you ask the government that? I am the government, and I'm asking you. Let me. Mm, you're brave. They say that sea urchin's the ultimate acquired taste. <laughs> it's a personal favorite of mine. Mm. I think people are put off by how it feeds through its bottom. Would you excuse me for a moment? Secret agent, I am. Everything's set, Bob. Just about, sir. Actually, sir, do you mind if I run through the plan one more time? No, no. These are the two buildings here. This one is our target, Savage's headquarters, right next to the city hospital. I jump first and land on the south side of the roof, outsail down 14 floors, and cut through this window here. I then land on the east side of the roof and abseil down 12 floors. Where you wait for my signal that I've disabled the alarm system. Yes. You then break into this window here, work your way along the secure corridor, and penetrate Savage's office. Yes, yes. Is that okay, sir? It's been okay ever since I thought up the idea, Bob. Oh, I nearly forgot, sir. Your laser beacon. My what? Your laser beacon. It'll guide you onto Sovage's building. Your dependence on hardware really does amuse me, Bob. I've been dropped into the Kalahari Desert, carrying nothing more than a toothbrush and a packet of sherbet lemons. And I still found my way to Bulawayo before Ramadan 